guys, this video is on my new acrylic nest from Antboy UK. First off, a cool business card. Am I the only one who collects these? Let me know in the comments. Some nice packaging, a red cover customised with my Ants England logo. I love it. Some ants can't see red light, so with this you can view your ants and keep them dark at the same time. Super sweet, he's thrown in some ant boy anti climb. I normally use the talcum and rubbing alcohol solution, which works, but doesn't look so great. So I'll give this a try and see if I'm swayed. More orange tissue paper for packaging and some tubing, always great to get the right size tubing with the nest or outworld you buy, makes life so much easier. And check this out, a black cover, totally wasn't expecting both the red and the black and both to be customised too, so it's so pretty. Packaging def definitely works, all in mint condition, no scratches or marks or scuffs. More tissue paper and wow, just wow. Now I love acrylic nests, and I mean love, love, love them. But just look at this, amazing. I almost don't want to put the ants in for them to get it all grubby. Let's get started with the anti climb which comes in this lip gloss style type container with all the instructions on how to use it. Will this end up being my new go-to barrier method? Who knows, I'll test this out at some point. Thank you so much to Antboy UK for sending this. Boom chicka wow wow just look at it so stunning this is the mega free in this beautiful turquoise color we have the hydration areas on one side and several several small clusters of ventilation holes my nikos will definitely be secure in this so lush so let's bring on the ants campanotus nico berensius i think that's how it's pronounced if not i'm pretty close We'll just call them the Nikos. They are quickly becoming one of my favourite colonies. Super fun to keep, fast growing, pretty hardy species. They're stunning ants. And I'm not a huge fan of tiny ants, so these are perfect for me because they're a real decent size. This type of carpenter ant comes from Asia, most likely China, and they're active all year round and don't need to hibernate. The queen is around 15 millimetres and the workers vary from about 6 to 13 millimetres ish and will produce majors. Nikos need lots of protein, lots of sugar, lots of water, lots of heat. I keep mine at about 20 sticks, but anywhere from like 24 to 28 should be fine temperature wise and lots of space because they are big and they are growing fast. So be aware if you get this species, Think ahead, think of what you're going to need, how much it's going to cost you and proceed accordingly. But they are so worth it, they're so beautiful. Don't they just look awesome in the nest? Now I know the nest is way too big for them at the moment and they will end up destroying the prettiness with all the rubbish they'll store in it. But I'm going to get another one of these nests and I'm going to attach it and move them into the clean one. And the great thing about acrylic nests is you can take them apart, clean them, and they're as good as new. And then with the rate the Nikos grow, I'll be needing a second nest for them anyway. So, problem solved. Nikos, they'll get a 10 out of 10. Love them. Antboy UK nest, 10 out of 10. Loved it. And the anti climb is still to be tested. And Ants England equals one very happy customer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.